can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's probably gonna be the last parting out video that's gonna be out. I'm actually gonna be working on two videos in this video, mainly because the, the, the other video I'm working on is gonna be released previously, um, just because we're a little late on that video. Um, I mean, I, I'm shooting everything within the, the, like in three days, but these two videos are gonna be dropping within the same three days. But, because people are just buying stuff left and right and I'm just trying to get ahead of the game so people don't have to sit here and wait as long when I'm trying to get all the parts out of the car. That being said, let's go ahead and make some room for the 435 because we gotta start pulling out that interior. So somebody's picking up the M4 interior for their beautiful, beautiful 435. So um, a lot of people getting some great parts. I literally saw a 435 individual today, which is absolutely insane. You guys will be seeing that obviously. I just probably already have seen that in the last video, but I saw it. 435 individual that is insane. I've never actually seen one of those very 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 rare cars and the interior was beautiful All right, let's go ahead and make some room. We gotta move both my parents cars get the 435 in here and we got a lot of work to do guys so i have another follower that is here what's your name my guy gage gage so we have gage over here he has the 435 like pretty much the m sport interior so we have that we're gonna be putting back into the m sport 435 and he's copping these beautiful silverstone m4 he's a heated option the extended leather option so they're actually going to a really nice car because dude this thing is heavily modified and it looks super good he put the lci tail lights which all of you guys have been telling me to do but they're expensive <laughs> aren't they exactly. how much do you pay for these guys uh uh, they were like 1600 because they're the year oh and then the harness and then you still got to get it coated yep, so, so after all that and then he has the carbon diffuser which looks super good carbon ex uh pretty much splitters for the rear bumper carbon size extensions bbs's real bbs's big baller dude <laughs> and then he has the gts front lip which i've actually never seen on a 435 i dig it i dig it heavily with the the gts style hood so Got a lot of mods going. The M M4 tier is gonna complement it really well. So. Yeah, it's gonna look great with the white. Oh my God, it's gonna look super good. So it's, yeah, it's going to good cars. It's definitely going to uh, ones that are being truly enjoyed by enthusiasts. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just keep and continue swapping out the interiors because it's gonna take some time. All right, guys, so we got the full interior out of, oh, actually, I forgot the door panels. We still gotta get the door panels out. After the rear door panels, I just have to get out that center console, the bada bing, bada bang. I'm keeping the, the beautiful copper seat belts, keeping the copper steering wheel, because it just complements the wrap very well. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and just remove the rest of the stuff back here. And just to actually correct myself before I get bashed in the comments, I don't disrespect my, my boy Gage over here. This is a 440i, it's a 2017. I didn't know 2017s, they were the B58s. I thought that started in 2018. So my bad, my guy. <laughs> no worries. Oh, um, but yeah. Good. I mean, I, I I also don't know about these engines. How are, are they technically can handle a lot more power than the four, N55s, right? Yeah, um, a lot more than the N55, and then I don't know. It's still under like the development, but a lot of people. I know the Supras have it. Yeah, Supras. Um, and then M2s are not an M2s. I'm not sure. Oh, M240s. Okay. Yeah, all the like the 235s and everything. Kind of the new N54, and a lot more reliable. No, I know. I mean, honestly, guys, I honestly think N55s are tanks. 157,000 miles. Only thing that went out on it was a fuel injector. So, I mean, the B58s have been hearing a lot of good things about it. And that's another reason why N54s, you know, they were great, but there's better things now. They're still good, but they give you so many problems. Have you ever had an N54? Uh, no, I haven't. Then you haven't dealt with N54 life, bro. It's not I used, fun. Nah, dude, I used to work on them all the time. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, he works on them all the time, so there you go. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so as for now, um, we did get most of the interior out for my car. I literally just have the center console. Literally, I one little piece of white. Everything else came out pretty easy. I'm really happy about it. Uh, we do have to replace the speakers because mine's are high mileage speakers and his is low mileage speakers. <laughs> so we do have to do that. He did get his door panels off, which is awesome. And then he has to get these seats out, which I'm actually really happy. They're in really good shape. So um, yeah, got a lot of work to do, but oh my God, it's a manual B58 guys. That's sick. Lo and behold, guys, everything is outside of the interior. This thing is completely stripped. We still got the beautiful orange seatbelt. So, uh, bada bing, bada bang. So, now I'm just gonna go ahead and help uh, Gage over here get the rest of his interior out. Or oh, actually, I'm gonna actually move my speakers out of mine and then get the rest of his interior out. And then we should be ready to roll. I'll probably put all his and mine 
first. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Pretty much finicking around with the interior we finally got done with my interior i'm about to finish uh with gage's interior in a little bit he's been working on his i'm about to help him real quick but as you guys can see this is pretty much the exact same interior that i had in my 435 so uh it's all back together the copper seat belts do look really good what's crazy about his car and how it lined up with mine he has the harman kardon package so he has the two speakers in the back that fit my door panels he has that aluminum trim that fits my aluminum trim so it just works out so perfectly and the whole interior is all put back together this is kind of cool because he has the newer model so uh i have these now in chrome which i mean they look pretty dope i don't think it's chrome but more of like a silver finish yeah the interior is in really good shape as well so this looks super 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 good it doesn't look as good obviously as the m4 interior but um what's crazy about his interior as well my interior the m4 interior came with this like black chrome and what's crazy on his car he upgraded to this and it has the black chrome so you upgrade to the honeycomb and it has a black chrome so his interior is about to fully match Harman Kardon so it's gonna fit those door panels literally it's like the biggest coinky dink and it just works out for the both of us so uh, let's just go ahead and help him finish up with his car we gotta do coding to the both of our cars to make sure everything's working properly in both of our cars the only thing that's not working in my car is these two buttons up here it's not a big deal but um, we need to get into work Gage over here is just detailing the seats. He's already taking care of them. He already detailed the full interior as he's putting it in. He's taking care of this M4 interior way better than I have ever had. And I need to figure out the bottle he's using. He keeps telling me, I keep forgetting. I'm just gonna write down the name later. But look at the condition, guys. It's in really good shape. I had this little bit of a black print because of my elbow and he got that sorted away. This interior looks so good with the, this, this beautiful trim as well. He has, again, the chrome black, which is matching with that chrome black. Oh my God, this the contrast looks super good. Manual B58 is looking really good. He just needs to get some maybe like blue seat belts and whatnot, but um, and the steering wheel, yeah, but it has this nice leather, which is nice. At least the steering wheel feels nice, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, as for the interior, let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out. And then bada bing, bada bang, throw that over there. We're missing, oh, there's the other screw. Okay, let's just go ahead and put his two seats. We put in the full interior in the 435. We had Nick just coat it. So Nick coated in my seats. Everything works pro uh, properly which is perfect, so shout out to Nick. Uh, I need to get a new battery in the camera, but um, all right, all right, one sec guys, let's put on this two seats, three, two, one. This is Gage's first sit. How does it feel? Uncomfortable, man. Look at me. <laughs> Look at the ambient lighting, too. Oh, that was See how it stands out? It's yeah. so sick. All right, he guys, he's going to go ahead and adjust the car for us, but uh, check out these tail lights, too. I know you guys love those things. Oh, my God. So, Gage just left uh, his car. He's really happy with it. He's pretty much been doing a lot of M4 conversion stuff, but he's keeping the bumpers to make sure people know it's still an, a 435. He doesn't want to make it look like an M4. But he likes a lot of the M4 pieces, like the M4 trunk, the M4 GTS front lip, the M4 GTS hood, but he's keeping the M4 body kit, which is super cool. And then now he has the M4 interior. So yeah, he's really happy. We did a full install on it. Um, I lost a good amount of money on the seats, but again, I was happy to help one of you guys with the car. At the same time, he had a perfectly good interior that would work in my car to make sure this thing is as it should be as a real M Sport. So I'm really happy about that. And actually, the interior is in really good shape. This has less than 20,000 miles on it. So basically a brand new interior in the 435, which I could 
couldn't be happier. This is probably gonna be the last carting out video. The next video, which is what I'm about to film right now, is just finishing up a few little things on the car and putting it up for sale. Probably selling it in the next video. So if you guys wanna cop the 435 as it sits, we're rewrapping the hood right now. The exhaust is gonna get mounted. We have new tires, new wheels on the car, new full interior. In terms of mods, if you guys are wondering, it has the Aza wheel, of course, copper seat belts all the way around, obviously fully wrapped. We got the sequential turn signals, carbon M4 mirrors, M4 fenders. We got the M Sport wheels, black glossed out, uh, pretty much grills carbon fiber lip just a few little carbon fiber bits right there as well we have also the phone mount charger this also this car is opted with the heads up display so you guys have that Harman Kardon sound system which is also really good I don't know if you guys can see that right now uh, carbon fiber shark fin carbon fiber spoiler carbon fiber diffuser so yeah guys if any of you guys want to copy this car I'm only putting up for 16,000 I believe these cars base model M sports base M sport is selling for 15,000 so now that it's a 16,000 I think it's very 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 affordable for a lot of people that want to purchase this car it's probably going to go quick so if any of you guys want to cop this car now hit me up on my instagram 16,000 firm i'm going to be putting it up for the public for 17,000 but for you guys i'll do 16,000 so make sure you guys hit me up without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.